MCS welfare is a third project which which we believe we have it trained everyone. We have trained every other person and we have not seen any fruits. And we are saying, even if it means going through Professor Gidure Kindiki, so that the, the, the welfare of the MCs of this country can be, can be uh, sorted, so be it. Kidure Kindiki has promised, has indicated, to work very well with the MCs of this country, not even the Mount Kenya region alone. He, is, he has indicated that he can uh, uh, pass our grievances to, wherever, to whichever authorities. And because we know everyone knows Kidure Kindiki is a, is a senior government official. Everybody in this country knows Kidure Kidike is working tirelessly for, the, for this country. We are, not, we are not in void. We are also members of this country. Like he is doing other things for other people. We believe Professor Kidure Kidike, the CS for Interior, can also take as our grievances to wherever they are supposed to be taken. The king, you cannot stop Kidure Kidike. You can't stop him. Why? Because he is putting all the efforts. He is doing his best for this country. And we believe, even as the MCS, even as the MCS, we require his attention and we believe he will sort us one day, one time. What we need to do, what we need to do, we need to get, uh, we need to get the audience of other leaders, including, we have sent very many people, including uh, very many people, uh, who, and we have not got results. Now, we believe, through the professor, Kedure Kindiki, who has indicated to work with us very well, we have no problem. Kikwetu tunasemanga, Mama kitaka mtoto. Ata mtoto, ata kibisi. Sijui kama huko kumuna, ata kibisi, aneza kubari kimi kupatia mtoto. If it will be through kideke that will get our welfare sorted, we are, we are good to go. Why are we now today being called here to be told that for, our MC, uh, for the welfare of the MCS to be taken care of, we must go through Professor Kindiki Kidure. I think this is... Who has said that? That is what... That is what Nobody has said that. So, that is your, well, your welfare of MCS in a vitaj kukua free... Nobody has said that. Hey boss, you will give your opinion. But give them the correct the, passion of why, the, why we are here. The conveners of this meeting will give their statement. But I want to give my statement and say yeah, that for the, well, the welfare of the MCS should be given unconditionally because the MCAs have met the president themselves and they agreed on the issues that they want to be checked. Na hii vile tumeona ni njama ya mbali ya kukuja kuandamine deputy president and we as the MCAs and leaders hapa mashinani hiyo hatuta kubali. We are behind the deputy president. He is our spokesman hakuna vile tutakubalisha watu wakuja kutupeleka hivi na mambo ya welfare atindio tufinjilia deputy president we respect him and we pray for him and we support him. We came under the invitation of our speaker. Let me speak from the perspective of Muranga County because that is where I serve and have been elected. We came through the invitation of the speaker, our speaker Johnson Mukua. And yesterday, he told us that we are coming here to meet the chair of COG, Governor Ann Waiguru, who was a no-show today. So we did not meet Governor Ann Waiguru. This was a meeting between MCAs and all the speakers. That is, uh, that is why the agenda that we had today was about the welfare of the MCAs and that is what we are talking about and we have talked about the issues that, that is why we've met and we've talked about the agenda of the welfare of MCAs these are issues we've talked with the president these are issues that we've talked through CAF these are issues we've talked through AMCA 
which are bodies that represent MCAs and are bodies that unite MCAs. But now today here, we want to say, and I want to say, that whatever uh, is being propagated here is not correct because it is being indicated that for MCA's welfare to be taken care of, it must go through Professor Kindiki Kidure, which is not, uh, which is unjustified because uh, MCA's should get their welfare without going through any broker because it is their right. Having, uh, having pension or any other thing no. is their right and they, and they require to be treated equally. Okay. We met here as MCAs from this region, but as, of course, as you know, there have been very many interests of late in this area. We met with our speakers, we met with our members, and the purpose of today's meeting is because, because I was one of the organizers. While we were meeting here, we have realized most of the development that is being done in our areas, MCAs are not involved. And that is what we wanted to come and discuss. And actually we had requested the CS Interior to join us here because you know the Ministry of Interior, they are the coordinators of development in this country. But because he got help up in other activities, we met together with, as MCAs and our speakers and we have come up with a lot of recommendations, most of which are about the development of our people. You know, when you come here and you start talking about the welfare, our welfare comes after we have addressed the issues of development concerning our people. Oh. Yeah. And our request is for the president, for the CS interior, for anybody else who is interested to assist MCS to deliver development for our people in our grassroots areas. We are going to work with such people. And because the CS interior has indicated, he would want to work with MCS for the realization of development in our grassroots areas, nobody is being forced. But all those MCS of like minds from the mountain region who would want to work with the government to address the issues of development in our grassroots areas, they are welcome to join this train. And I'm saying this because I sit in the party's neck, and it is the decision of our in party's neck, the ruling UDA party, that we bring together all leaders, including and especially the MCAs, because they are the ones in direct contact with our citizenry, with the people at the grassroots, so that we realize the bottom-up economic agenda as envisaged by the president and our party. So, you know we don't want people to come here and start, we make it like a free-for-all marketplace. This is a meeting that had a concise agenda and our key agenda was development of our wards in the mountain region. And we are not here to fight anyone. No person, whether the president or the deputy president or any other person was discussed. What was the aim of the meeting was discussing how MCAs can partner with the CS in the Ministry of Interior, who is the coordinator. The Interior Ministry is the coordinator of development in the country, so that also our region benefits. So that is it, and that is the official statement. Anything else someone will tell you, and I speak here now as the chair of the UDMC's caucus, and I have said I'm speaking here on behalf of the organizers. Anyone who will tell you anything else, they are giving their own personal opinion. That's the official position of the meeting. And thank you very much. Yes, Natukambiwa, kuna mkutano wa parivari ni pandea muranga. Natukambuma MCS tukuje sisuote. Natumefika sisuote tukua tumeja hapa. Lakini hile agenda tulitua jana, si agenda mbo tumeikuta leo kwa meza. Kwa sababu, huu speaker kwanza wa embu na nilafiki yangu. Hame tuzungusha hivya katuzungusha, lakini end result, anataka tuereke pare tu maani ya kuendose kithure kindiki. Sisi kama watu wa kirenyaga hiyo tumekata, hakuna mtu tuendose saa hivi. Kwa sababu, 
mnakuja ku reentice ma MCA that mkitwambia at welfare yetu itaangaliwa sijui na tuliambia president mwenyewe tukamwambia shida zetu kama MCA tukamwambia magavana na tukaria na mambo ya ward base na mambo zingine lakini kama lazima tufuate huo mdogo wa CS interior kufikia president wacho maneno ikae hata niliambia watu wangu hatutaki hiyo mishahara ati tunaambia tutapewa hiyo maneno ya welfare after one year siwaje so, maneno ya welfare ikae na endorsement pia wasahau na hakuna mtu ta endorse kwa sababu si tunajua watu wawili president wetu na, na deputy wake uh, rigadhi gashagwa na sisi kama watu wa Kirinyaga sisi tunapenda rigadhi gashagwa na hii mchezo tuko nayo hiyo tusahau kidhure kindiki deal na zile mashida tuko nazo za, in, za insecurity kuna mwalimu kwangu amerepua pogatwe ama ni getwe hiyo maneno hata mjangalia pombe imerudi Uh, na pia tulikuwa na cases mingi ya insecurity pale kutu si awesame so deal na hiyo kwanza alafu hii maneno mengine endorsement tutaangalia huko mbele 2027 lakini kwa sasa sahau you may wonder why is yolo in mount kenya is yolo we have officially decided to join mount kenya east and going forward politically we are going to be part of mount kenya east and we have designated Professor Kindiki Kizuri the CS for Interior to channel all our issues going forward at the national level we are going to use Professor Kindiki Kizuri as our point man for any political and national development matters I'm here with all my MCS and all the MCS back up this and as also the county government we have the blessings of the governor to be here so just know that isiolo is the new kid on the block thank you so much Bado kuna ile juko. Eh. 